Hi, this is Professor Friedman, and we're here today to talk about how to do problem set 3, which involves calculating expected value and the value of insurance. Value here being dollar value and the utility or the pleasure you get from different outcomes. Now, let's imagine that you have something that may have an uncertain worth. Your friend comes to you, he's developed a better mouse trap. Now, if the mouse trap actually works and sells and people use it, maybe they use it to blow up the mouse, maybe they use it to make the mouse happy. But if it works, it's worth $1,000. If it doesn't work, it's worth nothing. How much is this worth to you? If it's guaranteed, then of course it's worth $1,000. If it's guaranteed that it won't sell, then it's worth zero. The expected value, the here we're do, using value in dollars, the expected dollar value is the probability of success times what you get, the return, if successful, plus the probability of failure times the return if failed. This is called the weighted average of the outcomes where the weights are the probabilities of success or failure. We can do this numerically with probabilities of 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, or guaranteed. Guaranteed, we already did. Give you $1,000, 100% times 1,000, 1,000, zero probability of failure times zero. The sum is $1,000. 0 0.25, $250 is the sum it is the product of the probability of success times the return of successful plus zero gives the expected value of $250. The 50% probability of success, 0 0.5 times 1,000 gives you $500, and that's the expected value if you're moderately likely to succeed. This is different than the pleasure you get from success. Or failure. Now, we've assumed and established that, you know, apart from things like cocaine, um, this is true, that people have diminishing marginal utility, which means that the utility they're going to get from the big return is less than the dollar value. You go from $500 to $1,000, you are doubling the money, but you're not doubling the amount of happiness you get. For our purposes, we'll assume that utility goes up with the square root of the money. So the utility from $1,000 is the square root of $1,000, which is 31.62. The utility from zero is still zero. Your pleasure from your mousetrap investment rises just like the expected value calculations of dollars. For an invest for a probability of success of 25%, it's 25% of the utility of when successful, which is 31.62, plus 0.75 times the utility when unsuccessful, which is zero. That gives you 791. 50% is 0.5 times 31.62 plus zero, etc. If you know there is a 50% chance of success, then your expected value is $500, the average of 0 and 1,000. Your expected utility is 1581, which equals 0.5 times the square root of 1,000. Oh, get another zero in there. Now, you could buy an insurance policy that would guarantee you $1,000. Somebody would sell you that. Um, at least if you're willing to pay enough. The insurance would have an expected value of $500, the difference between 
the $500, that's the expected value of your gamble, and the $1,000 that they're promising to pay you, the insurer would break even on average if you pay $500. This policy would guarantee you $500 guaranteed. If you succeed, they'll give you $1,000 from which you pay the premium of $500. If you fail, you'll get zero, but they'll give you $1,000 from which you'll pay the premium of $500. This policy guarantees you $500 with a square with a utility of 2236. Note this. The utility of a guaranteed return of $500 is greater than the expected utility of the gamble. That's why we buy insurance, because people prefer a smaller amount guaranteed than the chance at a larger amount. You could have a chance of C or A in this graph, the expected value is D, that is less than the guaranteed value. In fact, the D, that is your expected value, has a utility of a much smaller amount of money. We can figure out how much smaller, how much less you would be willing to settle for to get a guaranteed amount. With insurance, the utility of your investment is 2236. Without insurance, the utility of your gamble is 1581. That is the same as the utility you would get for a sure thing of $250. So you would be willing to pay as much as $750 in a premium for an insurance policy that would guarantee you the thousand dollar return on investment. I say thousand dollars, I'm waving my fingers to make quotation marks because you'd never see that thousand dollars. If your investment fails, they give you the thousand dollars, but from that you have to pay seven hundred fifty dollars in insurance premiums. If your investment succeeds, you get the thousand dollars, but then they have to give you then you have to give them the seven hundred fifty dollars in premiums. So you're only going to see $250, but still seeing that $250, knowing you're going to get the $250, is as good as an even chance of getting $1,000 or zero. That's how much more we prefer a sure thing. Graphically, we can show this. Here's utility. Here's income. This is the utility you get up to income. Ah, I can't, I can't write. Here's $1,000. Here's zero. This, if you've got a 50-50 chance, here's where you'll be without insurance. Income, $500. Um, and happiness over here. Buy insurance and you're sure to be there, and you'll be over here. This is the happiness with fair market insurance. How much are you willing to pay? Well, this $500 is like having your utility of $500 is the same as your income of $250 guaranteed would give you. So you are willing to give up $250 over and above what the insurance is worth in order to get a guaranteed income. That is how insurance companies can make money. That's how they can make money in a fair market. There are all sorts of ways they can cheat. And we'll talk about those in another class. Thank you very much.